Hey guys, so today I'm going through my collection of my kite baby stuff for my baby. He's not gonna be part of this, he's actually napping right now. I only have two blankets and I have only sleep sacks. I don't actually own any of their clothing because they have actually a wide variety of stuff. I don't have any clothes or anything yet. I don't know that I'm ever going to, but for right now, what I really love are the sleep sacks. And if you don't know what the sleep sacks are, I suggest you look into it because they're wonderful. <laughs> I don't know what I'd do if I didn't have the sleep sacks. So one of the two blankets I have, I have this elephant print in the baby size. I mean, it's not big at all. It's pretty much perfect for like a stroller blanket or like a car seat blanket or anything like that. The print is cute. I mean, I'm not a big elephant person, but I like that it has like the green inside, the white with the print on the outside. And the other blanket I have is arguably my most favorite print that I own. It's the horse print. Oh my gosh. And this is a bigger one. This is a toddler size. So this is going to be one that he can like cuddle up with in his bed when he gets to that point because he's only nine months old, so he's not to that point yet. But yeah, this one's cute. It's got the blue inside with the print outside. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with this print. Can you see that? That's perfect. <laughs> I'm so excited that he gets to use this <laughs> in a little while. Because like I said, with the elephant one, it's like the baby size, so it works for like the strollers or in the car seat or anything like that. So that one is technically in use right now. They had just released that horse print this springtime, like end of February, I think is when they released it. I could not wait to get the horse print. That's perfect. I mean, there's like other prints and stuff, but the horse one was for me. Like that was made for me, it feels like. So of course I had to get a sleep sack in it. I actually got two sleep sacks in the horse print. So I know it's not very popular or common that people have different size weight for their sleep sacks. I mean, depending on where they live, I feel like it's more appropriate or not appropriate, but where I live, it gets cold in the winter time, like really cold in the winter time, and then in the summertime it's warm and we use an air conditioner, so I need sleep sacks all the time. And I personally wanted to have, because they come in three sizes, there's the 0.5, the 1.0, and the 2.5, so I've wanted to have all three sizes to be able to accommodate for the weather. So we're gonna start with the 0.5 togs that we have right now. Tog is, I don't know what it stands for, but it's what they use to differentiate the weights. <laughs> they also have zero to six month, six to 18 month, and 18 to 24 month for sizing. And I do have a six to 18 month in my favorite horse print. It's got this cute little blue piping going around the head and the arm. I literally couldn't handle how cute this was. These other 2.5 tog sleep sacks that I got in the 6 to 18 months specifically, I had purchased these months ago now before they had even talked about giving the horse print out for the world. So they're not in the horse print, but I've got this one in Sage. The 0.5s are so thin comparatively to the other sizes, obviously. And the last in the 0.5 tog, also 6 to 18 months, is Slate. Okay, on to the 1.0 tog sleep sacks that I have. So these next three 1.0 tog sleep sacks that I have are in the 0 to 6 month. So these were the first sleep sacks that I had for my son. First one I have is in this sapphire color. This truthfully was the very first sleep sack I had ever purchased. And I fell in love with it, of course. <laughs> I absolutely adore this color. But I quickly learned that with the material that these are and the fact that babies spit up a lot, <laughs> just is what it is, they just spit up a lot, I needed more than one with, yeah, also with how long these take to dry, I needed more than one. So I may have bought two more. I got this emerald one. My thoughts were I could use it at Christmas time or use it around Christmas time and it would be all like Christmassy. I don't really care for that. I do enjoy that color a lot though. And the last in the zero to six month that I have is honey. The top up here is a little worn, I guess we'll say, because that's where they spit up at the most. And I have spot treated it and everything and it's fared okay. Not bad. I mean, I will totally reuse all of these sleep sacks again for future kids, 
so. So I film these videos while my son is napping and he's currently using a 1.0 TOG sleep sack in the elephant print. <laughs> I do have a b-roll of that so this is the elephant print. It is the exact same one as the elephant blanket that I have. I actually got the blanket and the sleep sack at the same time. That was kind of my inspiration for getting the elephant blanket because they had the sleep sack in stock at the time. And in the 1.0 TOG I got another sapphire. I couldn't help myself. I literally adore this color, especially on my baby. It looks so good on him. He's so tan. The honey looks really good on him too because he's just so tan. It's not fair how tan he is, especially with how pasty pale I am. I'm just saying. Like his dad is tan, but like not overly tan. He's just tan. <laughs> but yeah, Sapphire Sleep Sack, love. So the final 1.0 TOG sleep sack I have in the 6 to 18 month is this horse print. I don't know why they have these two different where the lighter weight one has the blue trim and the heavier weight one doesn't. I'm curious what the heaviest weight one has, but I didn't get that one, so. I cannot wait to put this on my son. I can't wait for him to sleep with the blanket. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. I thank them immensely for coming up with the horse print. <laughs> so on to the 2.5 TOG weighted sleep sacks that I have. I have a giraffe print. This one's cute. I mean, I'm not big into giraffes. My son's not big into giraffes, but it's cute. I mean, they have a lot of cute prints, if we're being fair. Another I have in the 2.5 TOG is the sage. Yes, I do have another sage. I got it in the lightest weight over here and I've got the heaviest weight right here. So the last and final 2.5 TOG sleeve sack that I have is this in Slate. It's actually freshly washed because in the b-roll footage you can see the spit up from where I had changed it out of it. I didn't realize I didn't wash it yet so here it is freshly washed and clean. So I will rave about Kai's sleeve sacks to pretty much anybody that will listen. I will also recommend them to everybody who will watch this and has a baby and who needs one. I also hear they have adult size blankets and they're expensive, but I think they're worth it. I don't actually have one, so I can't say for sure, but I think they would be. I actually don't think I have any B-roll footage of this, but I have this Kite Baby water bottle that I actually, and maybe I do, if I have it from the initial footage from hauling it, I will insert that. This is a nice water bottle. I mean, it works. <laughs> Was it a little pricey for what I paid? Yeah, but I like it. So this is me telling you if you have a baby and you don't already own a sleep sack from Kite Baby, go on their website, order one. Try one, see what you like, do a little bit of research looking into it for what you need, for what sizing and everything. And I mean, their Instagram has like all of that information there for it so i'll actually put their instagram in the description it's just kite baby but yes you need a sleep sack if you don't already have one for your baby they also have like walking sleep sacks where they can put their feet through when they actually start to walk i don't know if i'm actually going to keep him in the sleep sacks past the 18 months we will see we'll we will cross that bridge when we get there okay Thank you so much for watching my video about my kite baby items that I have. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.